Valentine's Day to you all. I hope whatever you're doing today, you're having fun, whether you're with someone or you're single. Have a fantastic day. I have 14, coincidentally, or is it? Um, take bets that you may or may not know about Valentine's Day. So let's get started. Number one, in Victorian times, it was considered bad luck to sign a Valentine's card. I did not know that. Number two, based on retail statistics, about 3% of pet owners will give Valentine's Day gifts to their pets. And I can attest to that because my grandmother used to buy our dog Valentine's Day gifts. <laughs> oh, she was a lovely lady. Always had to please everybody, <laughs> including the family pets. <laughs> oh, God bless her soul. Um, about one billion Valentine's Day cards are ex exchanged each year. This makes it the second largest seasonal card sending time of the year. Wow. Uh, if you're single, don't despair. You can celebrate Singles Awareness Day sad instead. Uh, meant as an alternative to Valentine's Day, the holiday is for single people to celebrate or to commiserate in their single status. Okay, continuing on. Many believe the X symbol, you know, and X's and O's for hugs and kisses. The X symbol <clears throat> Uh, became synonymous with the kiss in medieval times. People who couldn't write their names signed in front of a witness with an X. The X was then kissed to show their sincerity. Well, that is quite interesting. And the rest I have screenshots of because I was getting carpal tunnel on my hand. <clears throat> in the Middle Ages, young women and men drew names from a bowl to see who would be their valentine. They would wear this name pinned onto their sleeve for one week for everyone to see. This was the origin of the expression to wear your heart on your sleeve. Very, very interesting. In 1537, England's King Henry VII officially declared February 14th the holiday of St. Valentine's Day. <clears throat> That's a long time ago. And 73% of people who buy flowers for Valentine's Day are men, while only 27% are women. So that's pretty obvious one, I think. 15% <laughs> of U.S. women send themselves flowers on Valentine's Day. Aw, isn't that sweet? That's either sweet or sad, I don't know. It's sweet that they actually think about themselves on Valentine's Day? No, I'm going to go with sweet. I think that's sweet. It's not something I would have ever done when I was single. But I really haven't been single much of my life, so I don't know. <clears throat> the red rose was the favorite flower of Venus, the Roman goddess of love. Love shot. I don't know why that, that song just came in my head. <laughs> oh, dear. Red roses are considered the flower of love because of because the color red stands for strong romantic feelings. Very interesting. Teachers, teachers will receive the most Valentine's Day cards, followed by children, mothers, wives, sweethearts, and pets. 220,000 is the average number of wedding proposals on Valentine's Day each year. 
you think you'd want to be like different. I don't know if, uh, I mean, some people get married on Valentine's Day, so I don't know. What do you think? I kind of combined four because they were all kind of about the same thing, so I'll just go in, in the order that I had uh, put it. Physicians of the 1800s commonly advised their patients to eat chocolate to calm their pining for lost love. Huh, interesting. <clears throat> More than 35 million heart-shaped boxes of chocolate will be sold for Valentine's Day. <clears throat> That's a lot. Richard Cadbury produced the first box of chocolates for Valentine's Day in the late 1800s. That's Cadbury, which is, Dairy Milk is one of my favorite chocolate bars. I bet you didn't know that. If people, enough people want a Q&A from me, you might be able to find out things about me that you don't know. <laughs> Over one billion dollars worth of chocolate is purchased for Valentine's Day in the U.S. That's just in the U.S. The best chocolate in Paris for Valentine's Day is Bonjour Paris. So those are a few little tidbits of um, information that I don't know if you knew or not that uh, I digged up for you on this St. Valentine's Day. I still have my cold sores, so I'm kind of covering it up with some uh, uh, concealer uh, with my finger and then using lipstick to put it on with my finger in that area because I don't want to contaminate any of my lipsticks. I want it to go away. <laughs> That's why I'm down here because I didn't want to draw attention to it because up there it's so, pardon me, it's so clear and crisp and you can see like everything and it would just stand out and like a sore thumb sticking on my face. I, I didn't want that. <laughs> so what do you guys have planned for this lovely Valentine's Day? I don't have anything planned. <laughs> we uh, we don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I don't think we ever have. Well, we maybe have a long time ago, but we have for a long time. So uh, <clears throat> I just I got him a card, and he got me a ring light and a backdrop. <laughs> so I guess that's fair. <laughs> Anyhow, I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys. So, um, I know it's supposed to be news day, Tuesday, but I thought, well, you know, those, I do have a couple of, um, news stories I'd like to share with you guys, but it seems the masking and the news, um, isn't really getting a lot of views. So I have to come up with something else something that up there would be good other than like makeup and stuff like that any ideas leave them below i'd love to have and have more ideas the more ideas the better i am open to anything because i want to take care of you guys so i'll stick a couple of videos here subscribe up there and you have a great day. Mm -hmm. I love you. Keep smiling. And I'll see you in my next video.